Police say a suspected bank robber called 911 on himself today. He spent the afternoon at the U.S. Bank downtown, but tonight he's in jail. Nine News reporter Brian Yocono is outside the bank tonight to explain this unusual twist. What a crazy story, Brian. There is a big twist here, Brendan. You know, there's still a lot going on right here at the bank. The employees huddled in the lobby for the last hour or so, debriefing about what happened. When we got to the scene, police cruisers were parked just outside on the curb. Their lights were flashing. It was obvious there was a lot going on. When we tried to go inside, we were greeted by the lieutenant of the Cincinnati Police Department. Also, police crime tape blocked right across all the teller's booths. Now, nine news cameras were rolling this afternoon as investigators first got to the scene. They were looking for any signs of who may have been responsible for what happened here at the bank and they were working on a very brief description they, they knew it was a black male 511 average build who reportedly had walked in with a note and demanded money from a teller now things got a little interesting from there we're told he came back outside to the sidewalk hailed a cab and took off it's then that things took a very unique twist, and we actually just obtained the 911 phone call from Karoo Tower of all places, and we want you to take a listen. Um, I'm the one that robbed the U.S. Bank, and I just need to record it to turn myself in. Okay, hold just a moment. Uh huh. Where are you in the Tower Place Mall? Um, I'm right by Humler and Nolan. Now, of course, we are keeping in touch with police right now to try to find out who that person is who made that call, reportedly identifying himself as the person who robbed the bank this afternoon. We will stay in touch with police to find out his identity and also try to find out a motive behind what happened here. Brendan and Carol? Very helpful suspect on that 911 call. Brian Yocono, thanks.